getting a parcel and it's as big as a whale. <laughs> oh yeah. Do -do -do. Oh yeah. Here we go. Hi. Come to pick up a parcel. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we go. I have it. I have it. It's as big as a whale. Let's get back and see exactly what's what. Now will this fit on my bike? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Revelator Alf. Right, hello, welcome to Revelator Alf. Hope you're all well in these uh, trying times. Back in the workshop now, let's open this bad boy up. Now, if you watched my video a few weeks ago about the Orcus Technology uh, wireless charger for your phone, uh, the link is up there if you want to watch that. And uh, Basically, the company got in touch with me and they said, hey, look, we've got a waterproof uh, uh, phone holder uh, for you uh, to try out. And I said, you know what? I'll only do it if it can be completely independent. So uh, that's exactly what it is. I'm not being paid for it. They sent me a couple here. I'm opening up there as well. It's They've both got these um, QI or Qi wireless charging it's waterproof well there's one let me uh, open up the other oh oh wow look at that so it comes in a big comes in a big old container like that oh pick up the lid oh and it's got side access as well this is like a really secure uh, holder for your phone Oh, yeah. So exactly like the other one as well, you just hook this up uh, to your power source on your bike. You can either have it on uh, ignition uh, or you can have it directly powered to the battery. I would go for ignition if, if I were you. Uh, it has a little push button switch on off switch at the back. Yeah, I like that. Little uh, holder uh, for your handlebars. Comes with sort of connectors here for easy connection. Yeah. Yeah, a little mount to uh, put this up to your mirror. Exactly the same. The kit inside is exactly the same as uh, the one that uh, that I reviewed earlier. And yeah, a little mount in here with little rubber sleeves. Let me show you that. There you go. Look, all good. I'll leave the link in the description for where you get this. This is from Amazonia. Uh, you get this and you get all the little instructions as well. Uh, all real good. Yeah, so the instruction here says that this uh, this holder uh, that you mount on your handlebars uh, will do a 7 8 uh, 22 mil or 1 inch 25.4 mil or a 1 and a quarter inch, which I've got, which is the 32 mil. And it's just a simple, you know, tighten up the little Allen screw there uh, and away you go. Yeah, it's very simple. And then all you need to do is unscrew this screw at the back, pop that over there like that, pop that into there like that, and then tighten it up. Yeah, and then put this on your handlebar, wherever, and then obviously you can see how it goes. Very simple, right? Uh, this, the power supply, yeah, oh look. The power supplies even got a fuse inside as well. So that's all really good. That's exactly what you want. You always want something that's fused. Look, it's got a nice little rubber sleeve inside there as well. So you've got a, a covering there. Pop that. And it's also got a, like a touch. Well, it's a, a malleable sort of uh, plastic here. Oh, okay. So this is clever. It's even got a little receptacle here. So you can put a USB... C connector up there or just a normal depend on what sort of connector you've got so you could just if you don't have a wireless charging phone capability like an older phone but you just want a waterproof phone you can just stick the connector up through there good actually I've just had a little thought here maybe if you don't want to use this for a phone maybe let's say you've got a little sat nav or something like that um or motorcycling you know garmin or something you want to be able to charge it on the go but you want some kind of holder that's waterproof you can stick that in here stick the connector charging connector up there charge it via a usb on your phone bish bash bosh done yeah i know this is very simple so what you do you get your phone, obviously, and then you stick that in there like that. This is obviously the bigger case, it, you know, but it's a universal fit, of course. Clamp that down. Oops. Make sure these flaps are open. Clamp it down. Clamp it down. There we go. Good. Oh, look. Yeah. And you can actually control your phone just by this uh, little sleeve here. Let me just... There we go. Look. There we go. And look, you can just 
move it around. I don't know if you can actually see that, uh, but that you can control your phone through it as well. So it's a plastic, um, you know, plastic covering. I like that. I like that a lot. In fact, uh, do you know what? I think this might work really well if you haven't got those kind of uh, motorcycle gloves that can work a phone. Hold on. Let me uh, let me get a set of gloves. See if it'll work. Hold on. Right, here's an old set of gloves here. Uh, let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. Yeah, so you do need those gloves that can actually work a phone. But there we go. Okay, at least it's protected. So, look, it's waterproof. Yeah, we know that. It's got a wireless hub. It's got a... Yeah, it's got USB-C as well. Wireless charging, that Qi charging. It can fit any size handlebar. Easy fuse lead. It is big. It's big and bulky, so it will fit the bigger phones as well. Um, right, hold on. Ah! <laughs> I wish I'd read the labels. Uh, this is for the big size. Uh, so you can order this in two sizes. The small size is uh, three, oh, sorry, 3.5 to 6 inches. And then the big size, which I've just opened, is 6 to 7 inches. So if you've got a 6 to 7 inch phone, you know, one of the bigger ones, uh, then obviously that'll go in there. If you've got one of the smaller ones, that will go in there. So I've got an iPhone 12. So I would say I would say it fits in there definitely, but I'd say it's more more for this one here. Right. The question is, would I use this or would you use this? If it was just a waterproof holder, I would definitely say no, there's no point. You might as well just get something else. I mean, it's cheap. You know, they're they're, they're really inexpensive. These are good price, well priced products that are not going to break the bank, just like unlike uh, other products on the market. So if it was just waterproof, I would say no, it's just get something else. But because it does the, you know, the wireless charging, because you've got a USB space to put up a, a cable up there as well to charge something else, let's say like a Garmin sat-nav or something like that. Um, do you know what? I actually think this is a really good deal. So would I put this on for the summer now? It's for the summer. No, I think I'd just go with my exposed one. I'm more than happy with that. However, winter rider months if i'm going on a longer ride yeah I, d I think i'd just swap this out and put this one on actually that's exactly what i do or the smaller one for my uh for my phone yeah let me just open this one up just keep it oh look it's got a spare fuse as well there we go not many other products give you a spare fuse as well so orcas big whale knock that one out of the park oh yeah or well, as we say in england knocked it for six dear chap there we go. So that's all that. I don't want to mix them up. Here we go. So open that up. Open that up. Yeah, definitely. So the iPhone 12, which I've got, the normal size, uh, goes in the smaller ones of this, which is the 3.5 to 6 inches. That's what you want. If you've got the much bigger phones, then you want the, the bigger one, which is the 6 to 7 one. This is a lot, yeah, um, this this is a lot less intrusive, let's say, than this one. This really is a big one for a big phone. But actually, you know, if you've got a big phone, you've got a much better display for, you know, sat-nav stuff as well. I like this. I like it a lot. You know, I didn't think I would, in all fairness. I thought it would be a bit of a waste of time. But I'm glad they sent it to me. I, I'm going to give this a positive review. The link's in the description down there below. It's, you know, relatively inexpensive, certainly inexpensive compared to uh, the light minded products or certainly those most expensive products on the market. It does everything that you want it to do. It's going to protect your phone even more so than uh, it being exposed. I know for a lot of phones and modern phones are waterproof, but look, an extra layer doesn't hurt really, does it? It's going to add a an extra bit of shock protection as well. It's all good. It's all good. So I, I would say this is a, a good buy. So thank you very much, Orcas, for sending this to me. This is really good. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put it on now. I've got to say, I'm still happy with my other Orcas wireless uh, charger uh, for the summer months. But do you know what? I think I will change this out in the winter. So I definitely see this as great value for winter. Uh, summer. I'm not so sure for summer whether this would cook the phone a bit too much uh, because especially iPhones, Apple products, they do tend to overheat uh, in the you know the hot temperatures. So you know you've got airflow going over it, but I'm thinking if you you know you leave your phone in there stationary. 
The other thing is, I suppose you really got to be mindful that you don't forget that your phone's in the holder and you just leave the bike, you know, and then you obviously left your phone exposed to theft. Uh, so with all that in mind, uh, but I would still say this is a great thing. I would personally use it for winter riding rather than the summer riding. Well, there you go. Orcus technology. What can I say? It's really cool. Oh, what's this at the bottom here? Oh, look, you've got a little USB port there as well, USB-C port there as well. That is so clever. So you basically got a USB cable, you put that in there, you slot it up through the center part, and then you can charge any phone if it hasn't got QI charging. You can just basically use this QI, this wireless charger, as a cable charger, as it were. But then you could also charge any other device if it's you know compatible with the electrical supply how good hold on yes they've both got it uh, oh got the little on off switch there as well yes yeah, so when it's connected to the power you know with the direct to the battery i would not do that i would go on ignition the wireless charger and the uh the cable usb c uh, cable works at the same time as well so either option is working well so as i said you could use this for a phone charger uh, or if you've got a compatible device that will be charged by usb c i think you'd be able to charge it with that as well it's worth a shot anyway, but obviously primarily this is just going to be for your phone. Yeah, I like that. Well done. Well done, Orcus, uh, for sending it to me. I, I appreciate that. Right, so what I will do, I will look to fit this on my bike at some point. Yeah, but definitely for the summer I'll be using the other wireless one. Uh, but for the, the winter riding, definitely. Yeah, definitely I'll be using that. Right, anyway, hope you found that useful. Goodbye, I'd say. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Link is in the description and all that jazz. And check out the website, revelatealf.com. Tell her. Revelator Elf.